right, so let's try to make this a little bit more interactive today maybe than, than usual. So I've opened up my chapter 15 class notes. I've opened up the mapdemo.java file and we don't have much in here yet, but we're gonna write some code together in the main method. Um, just because I wanna highlight each of the methods. Yeah. Yeah, great question. You're saying like we could replace these four with just import java.util.star, right? Um, it's not, not, not really, I mean, would things take a little bit longer to compile? Sure. Um, I sometimes do that. Sometimes I avoid it because there could be some weird class inside of the Java util package that I'm not aware of, right? And so maybe I created my own class in my cold code called a stack for whatever reason. And then I do import java.util.star and now I'm getting their stack, and now I have two classes with the same names, and I get confused, things don't compile. That's the only reason, really, I can think of not to do it. I don't think the performance matters that much. True, it is definitely a lot more explicit. So we've got the clarity piece, too, which is nice. All right, so we've got three methods, and this concept of a key set, which I want to explore. So um, first a little comment block slash star enter. The map interface is a generic, but it's, it's a little bit different, okay? So let me write a line of code here. We're gonna declare a local variable of type map. So it's a generic, meaning we have the angle brackets, but it's unique from all of the other collections that we've studied because it takes two types we need to specify the type of both the key and the value. So we're gonna have two types in here separated by a comma. So we're gonna create a map of strings to colors. And we're gonna call our map favorite colors. And I'll say new, I'm gonna make a new hash map because I don't care about the order. Make it faster. There we go. So this is different. We've never seen this before a generic that it has two different types. The first type is that of the key, the second is the value. Always think of like key value pairs is how I keep it straight in my head. Um, also, if you just hover on it, like it talks you through it too. and gives you all the details you need, so. All right, so we have a variable. Um, let's capture the two thing part though. The first type, because we might forget by Monday, the first type is the type of the key. The second, the type of the value. Let's add some favorite colors. Who wants to volunteer their favorite color? Purple? R knob. Did I spell that right? Uh, how do I make purple? Is purple a color? Violet? Blue? Blue it is. Sorry. <laughs> I'm amazed that Java doesn't have purple as a default color. Violet? Oh. Alright, blue it is. Other favorite colors, who, who said green? All right, anyone else have the favorite color of blue or green? Which, which one, blue? All right, so here's something else I just wanna be clear about. Two different keys can have the have the same value. So we can do favorite colors dot put, and I can say Aiden, did I spell that right? Oh. Um, and we can say color dot blue, okay? That's okay. Two keys can refer to the same value. 
makes sense that two people can have like the same favorite color, right? There's nothing wrong with that. What's that? We would get back blue. Absolutely. And if we called get and we passed the key of our knob, we would also get back blue. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah. yeah. Oh, we're going to get to that in a second. Yeah. Hold, hold that thought. That's a really important point. Um, we can also like change it. So we can change the value associated with an existing key. Existing key. So Lucas, can we change your favorite color? You also like red? Good. Okay, we'll do we'll go with that. There we go. So that's allowed. Okay. We can change the value associated with a given key. That's not a problem. All right, but to follow up on on this other important concept though, here's here's what is the limitation, but the same key cannot have two different values. Well, I guess that's kind of what I just iterated. All right, let me think of a better way to phrase this. We can change the value associated. Two different keys can have the same value, but the same key cannot have two different values. And I'll say like, instead, we change the value associated with a given key there. I was trying to think of a good way to phrase that to me. So, Two different keys can have the same value, totally okay. Two different people can have the same favorite color, not a problem. But one person cannot have two favorite colors. You can only have one favorite color, okay? So if we try to associate a, a different value with the same key, it replaces the value that was in the map before, okay? So Lucas can only have one favorite color, and now it's red. It is not green anymore. I didn't explain that well. Is questions about that? <laughs> All right. What's that? Yeah, no, that great, great point. Sure, these can be any class types. So our key could be a string and the value could be a set. Um, or the value could be an array list of turtles or anything we want. All right, let's look at this key set thing. So I'm going to say retrieve the set of keys in the map. So here's how we do that. We're going to need, it's going to return a set and it's going to be of the type of the key. So since we, our keys are of type string, it's going to be a set of strings. I'm going to call this variable keys. And the way we get it is we say favorite colors dot key set. And that will return a reference to a set of all the keys in the map. And this allows us to iterate through every element, every key value pair in the map. Yeah. What's that? Yeah, can you do the meetup thing? All right, usually how we do this is we call the key set method and then we use an enhanced for loop. So I'm gonna say for each key in keys and we'll do system.out.println. We're just gonna print everything. We're gonna print the key, which will be like the person's name in this case. And then after it, let's put in parentheses, um, a couple of things. Uh, the key is a string, but I'm going to call this new method that was briefly referred to in APCSA and we never really did anything with, which is called hash code. I'll explain why in a moment. Um, so we're going to put the hash code in parentheses and then We'll concatenate in 
Um, favorite colors dot get in the key. Is that going to compile? All right, go ahead and give that a run. Hopefully you spell better than I do. Probably. I don't know. I, I, I would be surprised if you couldn't cool. like set your column thing, but I don't know how. Good question for Google. All right, so here's the output. Lucas with this number, and then here's the color, all red. Arnav with this number, all blue. Aiden with this number, all blue. Maybe we'll add one more because it'll give us more data to make an assumption. Anyone else want to share a favorite color? Yellow? All right, let me run that one. You can put whatever names and colors you want. All right, look at the output. Does your output match mine? First thing to consider. Secondly, do you notice any patterns in the output? So consider this on your own for 30 seconds. And then we're going to talk to our pair programming partners. <laughs> 